Hi breathers, welcome to How to Train Your Diaphragm, part one. This is a three-part series from Breath Guidance on many ways in training your thoracic diaphragm, but for the main objective of increasing your overall lung capacity. Now, most of us are only breathing about 40 to 70% of our total lung capacity potential. So these techniques and exercises are gonna help you not only increase that capacity, meaning fit more air into your lungs, but it's also gonna help you create more efficiency in how your body uses the oxygen it gets in there. So today's video, we're gonna do strengthening through your thoracic diaphragm, which is that main tendon Ishida muscle that is the heavy lifter of breathing. It separates your chest from your belly. And to do this, we're gonna use a strap, a belt. Um, if you don't have those, you can also even use your hands to restrict the rib cage. Um, but I would definitely recommend a yoga strap if you have it. And try to get something that isn't very elastic, something that once it wraps around you, it'll stay taut. So today I'm gonna to be using a yoga strap and I already got it set up so I can wrap it around my rib cage. And what you're gonna do with your strap is you're gonna wrap it all the way around the rib cage and you're gonna bring it right up into your armpits. This way it comes right above the chest line and you can tighten it as tight as you possibly can. Now once I get this as tight as I possibly can, I'm gonna make it even tighter by emptying my lungs which will shrink my rib cage and that's when I'm gonna lock it in. So you're gonna take a big breath in you're gonna use your belly to pull the navel in, help push the air out, use the lips. And now it's really tight. So you're gonna keep this on here anywhere from like two to five minutes, depending on how long you're doing your training. And the breaths you'll be taking are big, massive in-breaths and restricted, or I should say resisted exhale. So what it'll look like is And I'm taking these big, deep in-breaths so I can start to create a tangibility, a feeling, an interoception of my thoracic diaphragm. Because many of us, not only are we just chest breathers, we're really dependent on the ribs or the intercostals to breathe, but we also can't feel what's going on with our thoracic diaphragm. Whereas if I wanna lift something, I can kind of feel my bicep engaging. You wanna start to practice this so you can feel and know when your thoracic diaphragm is really engaging and when it's relaxing. And we're doing that restricted out breath so we can resist or create this reciprocal kind of training on the exhale. It's kind of like when you do a pull up, you slowly come down rather than just dropping. So you can do this again, like I said, two to five minutes, big deep breaths in. Pay attention to feeling the thoracic diaphragm going all the way into the belly, really activating. Notice all that resistance into the ribs. Use your lips, even the tongue towards the top two teeth. And it's a serious workout for your diaphragm. This is great for strengthening it. Um, next week, we're gonna go into how to create flexibility into your diaphragm. So it's not just important to strengthen the muscle, but if it's not flexible, I'm not gonna get nearly as much space or strength if it was really tight. Uh, yeah, so if you're not a breather already, you should totally be one. Go to breathguidance.com, pop in your email address, and you'll get breath bonuses and videos and audios just like this every single Monday to your inbox. I'm Danny May, and it's a pleasure to share these with you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.